Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited because we're gonna be comparing physical books versus Kindles and see which one would win in a fight, pretty much. Is it worth having a Kindle? Should you just stick to regular physical books? Is a Kindle worth the hype? Like, we're gonna dissect everything about physical books, Kindles, if it's worth it. I've had a Kindle for about a year now, so I feel like I know the ins and outs. I've explored it enough to know whether or not I think it's a waste of your money or if it's something that you should actually get and all of that. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna break up each section into pros and cons and at the end answer all of these questions that I feel like people have in their minds if they have never had a Kindle before. So I'll tell you the tea and let's just go ahead and get into it, starting with physical books. So first pro of a physical book is that it's a physical book. There's just nothing like a physical book that you can actually hold, you can smell, you can flip through the pages. Like I just feel like it helps make a story more real when I can just like flip through it. I can hug it. I can hold it. I can be like, y'all get this book. Like there's just something about having an actual book that can never be really replaced. I feel like that was something that stopped me for the longest time from trying to get a Kindle because I just get so much serotonin from holding actual books and flipping to it. Even just like holding it now is making me so happy. Like if you know, you know. I just love having physical books. Another pro is like the satisfaction that you get when you finish a book. I guess it's because you can actually see your progress and be like, wow, I read this much. I only have this much left to go. Like I love the visual representation of my progress and being able to like flip back and all that. And when I finish a book, it's like a reward. It's like, look at what I read. Like I really just enjoy that feeling. And when you have a Kindle, I don't really get that type of satisfaction with reading a book. Like once it's over, it's like, okay, it's over. And I don't feel like I read the amount of pages that they told me I read. So physical books, this feeling just cannot be replaced. Also, another pro is that you can add it to a collection. In my dream house, I would have a room with just all these books, my little library, and it's just like so cozy to be able to see all the books, be able to like look at them and know that each one has their own story, their own characters, their own drama, their own trials and tribulations. Like there's just something about that that makes me feel so cozy and less alone and I don't know. And just also seeing like the beautiful covers, having it on display, being able to just see it, there's just no better feeling in my opinion and I just absolutely love that and I feel like it's the same thing like when you go to a library or a bookstore and you just feel like you can breathe like there's just a good like breath of fresh air and it's a little bit too like something that you can like romanticize your life with a little bit I don't know but I just feel like with physical books it adds not just to like the feeling of like touching it and holding it but also just the ambiance decoration the vibe like I love all of that when it has to do with the physical book the next pro is that it is not not a screen which in today's society in today's world everything and everyone has a screen and it is driving me crazy if I can find something that I enjoy doing that has to do with going outside or just not looking at a screen then I will be a happy girl and sometimes I get scared about the future when it's like everyone just is on their screens all the time now like what is it gonna look like in the future like my life now versus when I was a child so different and like one thing that stays the same is a physical book I just love that I can get so much joy and entertainment from these pages and not from a screen and books are just tried and true they're traditional they're just nice and you don't have to like tap to get to another thing I'm sick of tapping things sometimes and I just want to flip through a book and be like yo this feels nice <laughs> like I can step away from a screen just for a moment and just enjoy a book and thinking about having like everything in my life digitalized does not sound fun to me so I'm really glad that I have physical books I'm glad that physical books exist and I'm glad that booktube and the book communities online exist because we romanticize books we talk about books we we encourage people to not be on their screens which I guess is kind of ironic because we're on our screens telling you to get off your screens but you get the point anyways yeah so those are all my pros for physical books I feel like I can go on and on but you kind of get the gist a lot of them are interconnected so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the cons now so the first one is that it can be kind of awkward to read maybe just because I have the Kindle in comparison but even before I got a Kindle I knew that sometimes like laying down it can be kind of uncomfortable which position to get into like I treat my books with so much care like I do not want to break the spine I don't want like bent pages or anything like that so when I lay down or sit down with a book I'm thinking about 
keeping the book in good condition and I'm thinking about how can I read this comfortably and if I'm just gonna compare it to a Kindle this is just not as comfortable in my opinion the next con is reading at night as a kid I used to go into the bathroom to finish reading and my mom would be yelling at me to hurry up and go to bed because I could not read at night like I have a reading light that I like to use when I read books at night but having like my reading light and then trying to be comfortable and keep the book in good condition all that mixed together can sometimes be just in general uncomfortable and then also something that I don't like is that like you can't be discreet about what you're reading like I like to read a lot of romance books and sometimes there are like real people on covers which I do not like sometimes they have like men without a shirt which is uncomfortable and you will not catch me out in public reading a book like that actually I will not even buy a book if it has a really cringy cover I judge books by covers and all the pros that I was saying before about like displaying it I do not need that on display like those types of books you're gonna find it on the kindle i'm not gonna show like you're not gonna see me out here reading this book and then there's mcdreamy like on the cover like that's just not that's just not gonna happen so yeah that's my little review of physical books some pros some cons so let's go ahead and get started with our kindle and talk a little bit more about that so with my kindle my first pro is that it holds thousands of books and it's affordable. So I have the Kindle Paperwhite and it is in the eight gigabytes. That one stores up to 6,000 books, which is absolutely crazy in more books than you actually need. I think with the other Kindles that have higher storage, it's because audiobooks take up a lot of space, but I personally don't listen to audiobooks, so that's not really a big deal for me. But just strictly with eight gigabytes, 6,000 books, and like all the books on here are pretty affordable, like that is just really nice. And one of the biggest things that got me to buy Kindle is that I spend way too much money on books like I would finish them and I'm like okay I need something else like what's next and like it was just getting too much and I got this Kindle on sale for $50 normally it's like $99 but I got this for $50 it was on like a random spring sale and I also have Kindle Unlimited which is like $11.99 a month and so I pay $11.99 a month and I can have like such a wide variety of free books so I just needed to save money and I was like I really love me a good physical book but there's just something about this that I need because not reading for too long it's like an itch I can't scratch or what a scratch I can't itch no an itch I can't scratch and I had to do it so that was the biggest thing for me it's affordable and even if you don't have Kindle Unlimited the books that are on here are still less expensive than physical books so that was like such a big pro that I just had to jump on Kindles for the next one is that it's portable like this little thing is so tiny and she's skinny too like I can literally fit her anywhere I really like traveling with this and being able to read thousands of books have thousands of options and not worry about if it's gonna take up any extra space the next thing is unlike a physical book that is uncomfortable and hard to read at night this one is very comfortable and very easy to read at night it's super small like I can read it in so many different positions and it has settings where I can adjust the lighting and put it on dark mode if I would like to as well like there's no extra reading light that I need it's just all in one and I really like that and it was a huge draw to me for why I purchased this also I saw on Amazon that you can get stands for it and like buttons where you can literally lay down and just press the button to flip the page like that is absolutely wild I've not purchased that myself but you can't do that with a physical book next thing is that it is customizable so as you can see I have some stickers here that I put together for spring I like to decorate my Kindle every season just because I think it's really fun this is just a very random pro but I do really enjoy getting some stickers decorating my Kindle even you can customize like the interior so like the font and the size and the lighting and the dark mode light mode stuff like that which is really nice and so it being so customizable makes it like more personal and unique and I really enjoy that also another huge pro is that you can define words so when I'm reading an actual book I always define words like it's something that annoys me because if I don't know a word even if I can guess what it means in context it will bother me so much if I don't get confirmation and search up what that word means
means can be really annoying when it's like in the middle of something super juicy and I'm like oh wait one pause I just need to like quickly search up what this word means it's me doing too much but it's just something this is just who I am I cannot change okay so with a Kindle it's really nice because you just press and hold on the word and it'll just define it for you and then you can keep going with reading which is really nice also you can highlight quotes and things like that which I personally don't do but I know you can link it to your Goodreads account so they just have like a nice little place for you to store your quotes you can link it to Goodreads I think that's really nice now for cons the biggest con is that it's not a physical book like a lot of these are complimentary right like I really enjoy having this but I don't feel the same satisfaction when I finish a book on a Kindle and flipping through pages I'm tapping through pages or swiping through pages it's just not the same I don't particularly get the same type of joy from it also Kindles are not in color like even just you can see by this cover it's not in color which is not a big deal because books aren't in color but like this is like a nice vibrant color that I enjoy and I think it'd be kind of cool if like they had the actual covers on the Kindle in color which also helps me a lot with choosing what book I want to read like what catches my eye and so like if you're on the library in the Kindle app and just scrolling it's just black and white kind of dull but like for example if you're in a bookstore you're seeing all these nice vibrant books some just call your name on Kindle nothing calls my name like for the most part though too I do get most of my book recommendations from videos or Goodreads or Instagram or something like that so that's how I end up picking what to read next but in the bookstore it's for the most part what calls my name and maybe like reviews and stuff but also it's not that serious just because when you're reading a book it's not in color so it's really not that serious okay so now that we got all the pros and the cons for both physical books and kindle what is the verdict which one should you do what has my in-depth analysis concluded to and if I'm being so freaking for real you can honestly have both but I'll give you a real real answer a real 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 answer is that if I had to choose between all the books in the world disappearing out of existence or all the Kindles disappearing out of existence I would clearly say let the Kindles die let them rot it is what it is physical books all the freaking way but let's be real that's never gonna happen we're never gonna have to choose between a physical book or a kindle so por que no los dos you can have both and if i'm being for freaking real every con that's in a physical book a kindle fixes every con that's in a kindle a physical book fixes and i used to be one of those people who hated kindles hated e-readers i was such a little negative nancy being like this is like a, such a waste of time like physical books all the way and i was like i could read a book on my phone it's not that serious but it is that serious because for one kindles are not like phones at all they are e-readers the screen does not hurt your eyes at all it feels very comfortable and natural it takes forever for me to charge this i had this kindle for a year and i think i've charged it a total of four times in this entire year like it just does not die so i was just being a little hater not ready for change but if i'm being honest get you both you do not have to choose and i felt like if i got a kindle then i would be like cheating on physical books but that's just not the case at all you can have both i'm currently reading a physical book but after that i'm probably gonna read something on my kindle i can have both and nobody can stop me and i honestly feel like if you are an avid reader get you both i feel like the, the biggest the bigger question is when to read a physical book and when to read it on your kindle and i'll tell you what i do so if i am obsessed with the cover or if i feel like the story has like so much potential and it's gonna be really good and if it's like in a series too then i'm gonna buy the physical book because i want to have a collection i want to have them displayed on a bookshelf I want them to be nice and all that but if I'm suspicious of about a book or if it's like a guilty pleasure type read then I'm gonna read it on my Kindle or if I spent way too much money on something then I'm gonna read it on my Kindle like I said Kindle Unlimited is $11.99 a month which is less than one book at Barnes and Nobles like you know Barnes and Nobles be expensive this book $16.99 at Barnes and Nobles so if you read like that like that then you need a Kindle girl unless you got money like that then do you but still I feel like it's very comfortable to read and I still know that there are some people who read this but then once it hits nighttime they're gonna switch to this like there's just so much versatility and there's also some people who like switch and start listening to audiobooks even when they have the physical book and a Kindle and they just do a mix of all three like whatever floats your boat girl like I genuinely feel like you should get yourself a Kindle and like if you wait till sale like I did and I always look for sales so that I can share with you guys and you can buy it for cheap but like the random spring sale that I purchased this on for $50 like $50 for this 
is really cheap and they have so many options for books come on girl you know you know you jump on that so if i were you i would wait to purchase this for like either spring sales or random sales that they have or prime days prime day is also a really good time because they have so many things and usually kindles out there but i would still pay 99 dollars for this if i needed to like if i didn't have a kindle and i really wanted one i'm just still gonna probably pay 99 dollars because it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things because again this was 16.99 and if i wanted a series then it's already gonna be 50 dollars plus so why choose when you can have both so yeah those are my thoughts i will do a what's on my kindle video soon enough so stay on the lookout for that but I just want us to all be like together, which I feel like the book community is. I don't know if there's any real haters that I've seen so far, but a Kindle, I honestly will say it definitely changed my life, changed my wallet. And maybe back in the day when I like had my parents paying for all my books, like I wouldn't even like think twice to get this. But now that I pay for my own things, this has been very, very nice. So yeah, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what is your preferred method, Kindle or physical book. If there's any pros or cons that I missed out on, then please let me know but I love talking about Kindles I love talking about books so this will definitely not be the last time you see me talk about one or the other so if you enjoy that be sure to subscribe and check out my bookish playlist because I have so many videos there where I talk about books so thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye